Oh my god, I barely made it in time. Fuck. Dude, cold opening with Mario and Luigi is crazy. Holy shit. Dude, this is dope. Damn, the Mario... Mario RPGs really are back. Holy shit. Sorry, also, I woke up like five minutes ago. That's why I didn't go like, Yo! Yo! I wonder who they got developing this, since Alpha Dream's like dead as fuck. New Mario and Luigi, literally a jump scare, but it's like a good one. It's like a good one though. Mario Luigi Brothership. Dude, that drops in November. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Shin Takahashi, and I'll we got three Mario RPGs in the span of one year. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Oh my god, yeah, the last one was fucking Paper Jam, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. As well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Oh, I'm glad they didn't let Mario and Luigi suffer the fate of the last game being Paper Jam. Bring the championships home. We already know about this one. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch. We know this one. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games. From lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Oh, I that's kind of crazy. Classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against Dude, that sounds like that actually be like really hard. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. I know nothing about this show. This is gonna mean nothing to me. The climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime Fairy Tale in this action RPG. This is the sequel to the show. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Well, I hope you guys are doing well as well. 
I really was like late as fuck to this. I woke up like three minutes before this started. Barely fucking made it in time. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. That's a high dear. <sighs> Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. Yeah, I was about to say this is like Final Fantasy as hell. Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasia. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. This is like Final Fantasy, but it's not. Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. The Malevolent God. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. That's pretty cool. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. <laughs> the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go. Wait, that's kind of sick. Let us save the world together. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch. This could be interesting. Could be interesting. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. <laughs> really? <laughs> How long did it take? Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch Sports game. <laughs> Inexplicably, another sport added to Nintendo Switch Sports after like two years. In two -on -two matches using motion controls. To be fair, this game is like way popular than I think anybody realizes. This game sold like 13 million or something. Do you know how many video games have sold 13 million? There's not even a PlayStation 5 game that sold that much. Nintendo Switch Sports has sold more than every single PlayStation 5 game. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Yeah, fuck it, I'll stream that. Who cares? Is this also Nintendo Switch Sports? <laughs> Damn, Nintendo Switch Sports looking kind of different. This looks kind of sick. Like the weird robot thing. Oh, what is this? It looks cool. Is this Disney Channel? How the fuck does I can Cody get on my screen? It's an array of cartoon classics. Wait, no, I said is this is Disney Channel now they're actually showing it. <laughs> fuck. I needed to wait, like, two more seconds to make that joke. Fuck. It would have been so fucking funny, too. I blew it. We blew it, gang. The, the Hello Kitty game. Karomi and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island. Welcome this game exclusive on Apple Arcade. Exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system. Well, now it's now it's an exclusive on Nintendo Switch, but also not because it's on Apple Arcade. Pig 
and more across four arcade style sports. Okay, listen. We all love we all love Bugs Bunny. There's no way this game is anything but ass. They made Mario Sports Mix, but with the Looney Tunes, and that game was also ass. Among Us? Yeah, I've never heard of this game either. Oh, that's the day? Damn. Damn. Is this a fucking Monster Hunter Stories? Dude, that game came out like yesterday. That already came out. Wait, I don't think this is Monster Hunter Stories. Is it? Okay, no, it isn't. Sorry, sorry for Magia. I just saw like an orange like dragon and was like, is this a Monster Hunter Stories? Is this like a farming simulator? All they've shown is like little guys beating the hell out of people. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your bows. Oh, I guess it does have farming. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia. Launching on Nintendo Switch, November 1st. Alright. Oh! DKC Returns port? I'll take it. Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. Dude, wait. That means every single DKC game is on the Switch now. Precious Banana Horde. Truly, we have won. Truly, the Donkey Kong heads have won. It'll also be nice to play this without the motion controls. I know that's like a big thing of contention with a lot of people. I haven't actually played DKC Returns. I've owned it for quite a bit, but I never got the chance to. Transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. It would be nice if we got a new DKC game, but, you know. I'm glad they haven't forgotten the series exists, at least. And I know Retro Studios is busy with Metroid Prime 4. It's coming out in January! They're waiting that long. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look. Oh, crazy, it's only been 14 minutes. It, it has been packed decently. This Legend of Zelda? This looks like a link between worlds a little bit. That looked like Hilda. No, I don't remember the fucked up bird from Link to Pet. This is Dragon Quest. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm stupid as fuck. I saw a goth girl and was like, yo, wait, is that a Hilda? I don't even play Legend of Zelda like that. Okay, so is it still just Dragon Quest 3? Because there was like a rumor that it was going to be like three games in one. That doesn't look like that's what's happening. Unless they just show off one and two at the end of this trailer. Show slime. 
I ain't here to talk to you. Put your slime on the phone. Your own I'll play that. I don't think I'll stream it, but I'll play it. And we have one more surprise. I guess it is one and two as well. Okay, but they're not in the same pack. They're gonna be separate. Wait, that's dope. I will play these. Very funny that they were announced three before one and two. I assume it's probably because three is one of the more iconic ones from the early days. Yeah, it's like the fan favorite. あと、どんどん展開が待っています。ごと3部作となる3と1と1と2と、どちらもぜひ楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。どうもオリジンでした。Thank you. to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies tv shows and more use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds each with their own unique puzzles hidden areas and familiar foes dinosaurs from jurassic world and cylons from battlestar galactica they're certainly not toying around. Holy crap, guys. They're showing off Yakuza 9 for Nintendo Switch 2. Oh my god. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Okay. Ready for an adventure of Hi, Luigi. Summon your courage. I like that guy. Multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre order. Yeah, that's like in a week and a half. Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on oh, I vaguely remember the Dempa men. I don't think I ever, like, I don't think I know anything about them. I think I watched, like, the Balrog the Master <laughs> review in, like, 2012. Did anybody else watch Balrog the Master? The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Oh, this is the Metal Slug game that they announced. Oh no, this is a different Metal Slug game. <laughs> this is a separate Metal Slug strategy game. My bad. Are they not just making, like, regular Metal Slug games anymore? That comes out today. On an of the in this I was about to say, this looks like Darkest Dungeon. 
board your stagecoach and set off across it again. Yeah, this game looks good. Darkest Dungeon is still like indie, right? Nightmarish fiends in turn based combat. That seems like decently high production values. Your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre orders begin later. It does look really cool. I've never played Darkest Dungeon though. Titles are on the way. Pokemon? I'll take four swords. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore Pokemon Emerald Zelda next. In the Legend of Zelda, Copium. Past four swords. Ooh. It took them fucking long enough to do zero mission. zero mission. That felt like such an obvious one to add. Zero Mission's great. New Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online, Mature Conquer's Bad Fur Day? <laughs> what the fuck else could it be? Oh. Well, I guess Turok makes sense. So they gotta announce, like, Conquer's Bad Fur Day if they're gonna have a Mature app, right? Oh, Perfect Dark. ...create a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in... Perfect Dark, now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch online play. Damn, that comes out today. today. Ooh. Set sail to save the day. Is this Disgaea? This is Verona. No. Young woman with the, ability to communicate the art style looked similar. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. She sounds like a baby. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. New installment? There was another Phantom Brave game? Take on tactical turn-based battles. Where you combine the phantoms you befriended with objects in various ways. Dude, turn the barrel into a twin-tailed blonde girl. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. Yeah, it looks like it's the same company as Disgaea. Dude, I tried to play Disgaea once. That shit went right over my head. I don't know, like... I I'm like a big Fire Emblem head, and trying to play Disgaea, I felt like I was learning like a new language. This one's gonna take you for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash and <laughs> I wanna take you for a ride. Dude, that's dope, though. That's pretty cool. I know Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is, like, really good. I mean, you get some other random Marvel games in there. Sure. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. Thank you. Thank you for playing the song. Is the netcode good though? That's on the Nintendo Switch. Of course it's not gonna be. Mario Party! Mario Party! Mario Party! That's what I've been waiting for! to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Yeah, it's no coconut mall, but it's all right. Star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new you can't do that, Mario Party. People are traumatized from the cars. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. 
and things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games. Oh, make that's nice. Turn. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled. Looks nice, it does. Or tilting your Joy Con controllers. Oh, it is going to be a lot of single Joy Con stuff. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Bro, nobody's playing the Coupathlon. You give them like seven boards of regular Mario Party, nobody is playing this shit. I'm glad though. I'm glad they're keeping up the pattern of like a new Mario Party every three years. Because I like Mario Party. Mario Party is like a constant in my life. It's like I feel safe when a new Mario Party's coming out. Tomodachi Live! Yeah! Okay, no, this is Legend of Zelda. Which one is this? Is this a new one? Is this like a remake of the original? Like a remake of like A Link to the Past? Cause this is just like, like the same model from the Link's Awakening remake. Or is this a new one? Is this a game where you play as Zelda? Dude, wait. Do you know how crazy that is? They have never had a game where you play as Zelda, like, ever. <laughs> Echoes of Wisdom. Wait, that's dope. And it's made by the same guys who did the Link's Awakening remake? That's awesome. What about the CDI ones? Oh, sorry, I'd never forget about my friend Morshu. Bombs? You want them? Yours, my friend. Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions. Finally, the legend of Zelda. To explain more, please take a look at this video. This looks dope, though. Stolen away across the vast lands of Hyrule. Strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across. I will say also, and like this is coming from someone who did enjoy Princess Peach Showtime. This looks like this is gonna be way better than that game. Zelda learned how to create an This looks like they're giving it like the same weight as like any other Zelda game. Instead of being like a weird spin-off. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. Thank God she knows how to make a table. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Oh, this looks cute. Learn and create echoes of things. This is fun. While exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. It's kind of wild. It feels like I have quite a bit of freedom to give you. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. <laughs> That's not all. Though. Get on. You can also create echoes of monsters. Ooh. After doing so, they'll bite by your side. 
Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key after all. Is she can Zelda sword still? I mean, I don't hate this gameplay style. In a high rule without link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending Dude, the on bed tech you goes crazy. Short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. Damn, that's in September too. That's like three months away. Y'all remember the Nintendo Switch Lite? We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Torachi life next. Copium. In the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on. Dude, they do not need to dedicate time to just dance. A new Just Dance coming out is like the inevitability of death. It's gonna happen to us all. Like, it's... I don't know. If they stopped making Just Dance games, that would be a more shocking announcement than making another one every year. don't even know these songs anymore yeah i'm like too old for this i don't listen to radio hits i haven't listened to radio hits in like 10 years but you show me like just dance like 2014 i'd be like yeah i know these songs these days it's like i don't know i know poker face that's it dude they're really wasting more time on this lego horizons game they just wanted to show PlayStation Publishing on a Nintendo Direct. That's it. Nintendo wanted to make a power move. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon. I mean, it does look different from the usual Lego games. That's not nothing. Lego Horizon Adventures. I'm still just like confused. This holiday. Tomonachi Life. Okay, it's Stray. I mean, I've heard this game is good. I own it, but I haven't played it yet. Who doesn't love Kitty? Girl, you need a shot of B12. <laughs> no way. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world. 
and make your way back to safety. Strength. Literally, leave that cat alone. Be nice. I'm not your life. It's Lord of the Rings. Like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings. Now, a leisurely existence nestled away. It's a farming sim in the Lord of the Rings universe. Interesting. Your appearance. Decorate your home and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater. Listen, this is not like anti farming game like sentiment coming from me. If I'm playing, like, a Lord of the Ring games, I don't know. I would rather be, like, slinging crazy-ass spells as, like, Gandalf or whatever than be like, you know what? I'm gonna play a cozy, wholesome farming game as a hobbit. Brother, I want to see Gandalf kill people. You're showing me a wizard? I want to see him kill people. Interrogate checkmate. The investigations games are coming. That's dope. Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, take the case Let's go. and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Now can they make a new one? Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer. Or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to- They finally learned. They finally learned. Music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Wonder if they're using the same fan translation names? I don't know. I guess it depends on how accurate the translations are. Dong and Rampa? Or at least by the same character designer? I don't envy the art designer of Danganronpa, because any time they, like, work on another game, everybody's like, yo, wait, is that Danganronpa? I'd like to take a minute to sit right there to tell you how became the prince of a town called Bel Air. He's then forced to enroll at the last defense academy, along with 15 other students. Wait, is this Danganronpa? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Tongue and Rampa strategy game. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? This has to be Dong and Rampa. It's a, you're in a school with 15 other people? No, it's inexplicably a different game. That's also like vaguely dong and romp. <laughs> Embark on a saga spanning generations. I'm confused. How is that not dong and romp? Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Rule and expand the empire of the only thing that makes that game not a dong and romp game is that the people in the school are not killing each other. And that's it. to enhance abilities turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles where the action order is key innovative features like united attack can also help with strategy okay. i don't know anything about the saga games you expand your empire and in which order will you fight the seven heroes every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story Safeguard your empire's future 
and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven, launches on Nintendo Revenge of the Sith. I think it's over, Tomodachi fans. Full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Tomodachi Life 2! Tomodachi Life 2! Nope, it's Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 4 is actually coming out. Either that or this is just a random different Metroid game. I don't know anything about the Metroid Prime sequel, so I don't actually know if this is, like, another HD one, or if this is actually Metroid Prime 4. I'm not gonna know until the end. It's Meat Boy on the PS5! Oh my god, it is Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> Fucking took you long enough. Seven years since that game was announced. Seven. Well, I hope it's good, given the fucking development hell it must have had. I'm surprised they're not doing this as, like, a cross-gen thing. It makes me wonder if, like, they're planning on releasing the Switch 2 later than everybody thinks. Well, at least they were able to get it out before the Switch died. Thank you for watching. Okay, okay. So no Animal Crossing. Face it, Iberus. Animal Crossing is gone. And it's never coming back. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. I mean, I have to go over this quickly because I have to eat breakfast and start getting ready for work. Uh, Mario and Luigi game looks sick, obviously. I'm very happy about that. This is probably stuff I could talk about if I stream later. Uh, NES stuff, I mean, it looks interesting. Fairy Tale 2. Nintendo Switch Sports Basketball! Yeah! Yeah! Looney Tunes Basketball! Among Us! Yeah! Uh, DKC Returns is hype. I like that. Uh, I like those games. I like the DKC series, and it's the one game I haven't played. The Dragon Quest HD 2D games, cool as hell. Um, uh, some of these games are like a little inexplicable. I'm excited to play Metroid Zero Mission again. That game's pretty good. Uh, Marvel Capcom collection looks cool. Mario Party! Mario Party! Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna be playing that so much with my family. Uh, the Zelda game looks cool. 
with all the like table building and shit that game looks like it could be sick as hell i like that it has the Link's awakening art style because i think that art style is really cute dude who gives a fuck about just dance i'm sorry everybody i'm sorry this isn't my heart i'm sorry justin lego horizons is also kind of like who gives a fuck stray i've heard is good uh the ace attorney investigations games i've heard are good man i'm like so behind i still gotta play like any game past two <laughs> not banging rampa i'm still confused how this game is not banging rampa I don't know anything about the Saga games. And Metroid Prime 4, I mean, I'm like not very tuned in to Metroid at all. So I couldn't even tell that like it was Metroid Prime 4, but I hope it made people happy. I hope people are happy that that game's like not fucking canceled. They're actually releasing it. Um, but yeah, if I stream later, I'll talk about the direct more, because I gotta go make myself breakfast. Um, thank you all for joining me for this extremely impromptu, uh, Nintendo Direct. Reaction! We love React! We're the fine brothers! Um... But yeah, I literally woke up like three minutes before I went live. <laughs> Whoops. I'll try and be a little more timely next time. Um, but uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, go make yourself a nice breakfast, or if it's later where you are, go make yourself a nice uh, lunch or dinner. And if you don't... Uh, 1,000 years of famine.